It was a traumatic scene. A 13-year-old boy found dead yesterday. Another five children unconscious around this Michigan hotel pool. I couldn't even see them breathing. Authorities say they were overcome by carbon monoxide poisoning from a pool heater. In all, 14 people were sent to hospital, including Demetrios Butler. I started to get lightheaded and stuff. I was out the pool and uh, I passed out and I hit my head. The police officer had helped us and um, saved our lives. The scene in Michigan comes on the heels of another recent tragedy. A family of four was found dead in their home near Ashcroft, B.C. Again, the suspected cause, carbon monoxide. We have these one, two, three deaths at a time. Um, but uh, nothing changes. The Canadian Association of Fire Chiefs is calling on the federal government to make carbon monoxide detectors mandatory across the country. The fact that some provinces uh, enforce uh, CO alarms in homes previous to the building codes um, and some don't is a concern to us. The association says the colorless, odorless gas kills between 50 and 100 Canadians every year. But the stats are not tracked nationally, so it's working on a database. Carbon monoxide can build up indoors from burning fuel in fireplaces, furnaces, space heaters and generators. Brianna Coop owes her life to a detector. In January, a leaky furnace led to high carbon monoxide levels in her Saskatoon home while her family was sleeping. When we let ourselves go there and think about what could have happened that night, um, it's, it's terrifying. And what happens to other families, like that family in BC last week? Um, it's just, it's such a tragedy and it's such a preventable tragedy. Ontario and Yukon are the only jurisdictions in Canada that require all homeowners to install carbon monoxide detectors. And the Canadian Association of Fire Chiefs says if and until all provinces follow, they hope people take the risk seriously and make sure their families are protected. Jill Kubra, CBC News, Winnipeg.